In this video, what I want to do is give you a solid piece of advice how you can approach a problem like this. Now, when we're solving a system of equations, right, we're trying to solve for the x value as well as the y value. And one thing that I always like to tell my students is always try to get the coefficients to be the exact same, one positive and one negative. Now, a lot of times that tricks up students because they're like, well, what if we just get them to be the same you know, coefficient, like that's good. And yes, that does work if you're going to apply the subtraction method. But my solid piece of advice is to avoid the subtraction method and it's basically to always go ahead and add your two systems. Now, we don't want to add the two systems right away because if we were just to go ahead and add these together right now, right, what we would get here is a 6x and this is going to be plus a 3y is equal to a 12. So the problem with this is obviously that's not eliminating a variable, right? Our goal is to eliminate one of these variables. So what we're gonna actually do is rather than adding these right now, we wanna get these to be the exact same coefficient, one positive and one negative. And the way that we're gonna do that is multiplying by a scalar. Now you can see what I did is I only multiplied by negative one because the nice thing here, this was already a three, right? So if I just multiply by a negative one, then that's gonna give me a negative three. Again, that is our goal to get the exact same coefficient, one positive and one negative. Now you don't have to rewrite it, but for the sake of like understanding what we're doing in this problem, I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite this whole system of the equation by making sure that I multiply this negative one times everything in the bottom equation. Now what we have here is we have a system of equations and now I want you to recognize here these coefficient of the x, right? And it doesn't matter if it's the x or the y, right? We're gonna be solving for both of these equations or we're gonna be solving for both these variables eventually. But now what we can do is go ahead and add these two equations up. So now I'm just gonna switch my colors here. So I'll add a blue here. And now what we're gonna do is add them vertically. Now remember, make sure that you have your x's aligned vertically with your x's and your y's aligned vertically with your y's. And now I can just go and add them up. Now the nice thing here is when I add a three plus a negative three, that's just going to give me a zero x. And zero times anything is just going to be zero. So we can just kind of like disregard that. Then I have a two y plus five y is going to be a seven y. And then a 13 plus a negative one, or sorry, plus a negative one, plus a one is going to equal a 14. Now I can go ahead and solve for my y by dividing my seven on both sides and I get a y is equal to two. Now remember, when we're solving a system of equations, we're trying to find the values for x as well as for y. So what we need to do now is plug in the value of y into one of these equations. Now, you could plug it into this original equation, right? You could plug it into this one before we multiply by negative one or after we multiply by negative one. And sometimes there's ways to do it depending on, you know, if you want to avoid negatives, I preferably like to avoid negatives, right? That is why I multiply by negative one here so we didn't have to go through subtraction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug it into this top equation because notice there's no subtraction or negative symbols. So therefore, when I go ahead and do that, it's gonna look something like this. Solve by x is just go ahead and simplify this and apply my inverse operations. And there we go. Hopefully you can follow this solid piece of advice to avoid your negatives, avoid subtracting your equations, so therefore you can solve for your x as well as the y.